Yo, what's up guys, Stacey here. So today I wanna to talk about just exactly what it takes to get rank 14 in Classic WoW. So the Classic WoW PVP system is very, very, very different than any iteration that we've seen since Classic WoW and any other expansions. It requires a super immense amount of time to be successful, and it's really, really punishing if you have to take a break for even a day or two. There are 14 ranks with each higher rank offering increasingly, increasingly valuable rewards, but each higher rank taking more and more time to achieve. So let's talk about how this system works. So rank one is the lowest, rank 14 is the highest, and you climb through these ranks by farming RP or ranking points. The amount of RP uh, that you acquire each week is, a comparison, is based on a comparison of how much honor you farm versus how much honor everyone else on your faction has farmed for that given week. So in essence, you have to farm honor, which becomes a variable amount of RP based off the honor you farmed by yourself versus the other honor farmers on your faction, and then you're given uh, a, an RP amount based on that on the weekly reset. Now, your RP slowly builds on itself each week with rank 14 requiring 60,000 RP, and with each weekly reset you lose 20% of your current RP, so you can easily see how, diff how the difficulty of this grind increases very, very quickly. So you can imagine if you currently have 10,000 RP, for example, and you lose 20%, you'd lose only 2,000 RP. But if you have 50,000 RP, you're getting close to rank 14, and you lose 20% of that on reset day, you'd lose 10,000 RP. So you have to grind more and more each week to stay competitive and make sure that you're overcoming that decay, that 20% decay every week. So outside of the first three ranks, you need 5,000 more RP each week to advance to the next rank. But just like I said, advancing to the next rank becomes increasingly and progressively harder each week due to that 20% decay we talked about. This is your honor tab that you will use to keep track of your own honor. And the blue bar at the top actually indicates your RP and how close you are to the next rank, as you can see at, at the very top here. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to compare yourself to the other honor farmers on your own faction to get an idea of how much RP you can expect next reset based off the honor you farmed that week. But there are some add-ons or there likely will be some add-ons in Classic WoW that can make a pretty good educated guess for you. So how much RP can you expect to get if you're farming a ton of honor each week and playing all day every day? Just as there are 14 ranks, there's also 14 brackets that determine how much RP you get each week, as you can see in this chart here. As you move up throughout the brackets, the percentage of players allowed decreases rapidly, very rapidly, and it gets really, really narrow at the top, up to bracket 14, which only allows 0.03 of the top honor farmers per faction each week. So in essence, you're not you're not only competing against the horde in battlegrounds or world PvP, you're competing to outfarm other other honor farmers on your own faction. So it's very, very competitive. As an example, if there are 4,000 active PvPers on your faction during a given week, only 12 people will be in bracket 14 and qualify for between 12,000 and 13,000 RP, depending on where they stand amongst each other. 13,000 RP being the most RP you can ever earn in a given week, it's the, it's the, it's the RP cap and is saved for the number one honor farmer per faction, though it's possible to do what's called stacking brackets. To go into more depth in that, from our previous example, let's say that all 14 top honor farmers on your faction each farmed the exact same amount of honor in a given week. They'd technically all tie for the number one spot, and all 14, 14 of them would receive that, that 13,000 RP exactly if they were all stacked perfectly on top of each other. Whereas otherwise, they'd, uh, that RP would be, di uh, or they would be distributed between 12,000 and 13,000 RP. So bracket stacking is very, very common in high level premates and speeds up the ranking process a lot. And it definitely speeds up the process for everyone involved, though it's incredibly challenging to coordinate. And all it takes is one person to mess it up and over farm. And uh, it'll mess up the, the bracket stack and screw everyone involved, screw over everyone involved. Coordinating and stacking brackets like this actually makes raking much faster and more manageable for everyone involved. But sometimes the top honor farmers, uh, your bracket 14 and bracket 13 players, will still have to play 12 hours a day, 12 plus hours a day, seven days a week in order to secure their top bracket spots, which are going to be highly competitive on every single classic WoW server. Sometimes if there are two or maybe even more competitive premates on the same faction on the same server, um, they'll engage in what's called an honor war. Well, they'll, they will essentially try to out farm each other um, out, out farm each other regarding honor each week um, in order to secure those very high valuable bracket 14, maybe even some bracket 13 spots for their own premate or their own friends. And this can go on for days or maybe even sometimes weeks. So this might mean going from farming honor 12 hours a day, seven days a week, to maybe even 18 hours a day, seven days a week. But typically, um, af after typically a short time, um, one premate will buckle and a compromise will be reached. But honor wars are bad for everyone involved because when the honor uh, required for the top bracket spots is inflated during the honor war, that has a trickle down effect on the lower bracket spots as well, 
causing uh, casual players to have to farm more honor just for the same result uh, for those even, even those very low bracket spots. So in Classic WoW, is ranking just a time investment and nothing else? Well, time investment is a huge and predominant factor in ranking up, honestly, but I can tell you that you will have to be a good and very well-equipped player to uh, be invited to and perform effectively in a top-performing pre-made. So this means being the right spec, having your epic mount and all of your movement speed increasing effects and items, having engineering, having consumables, having proper enchants, the list goes on and on. And these pre-mates also definitely get very competitive in min-maxi, and what I mean by that is um, I've, def I've personally been in scenarios where if we weren't getting 5 cap Arathi Basin wins just in a couple minutes, um, back to back, or back to back 3, three flag cap Warsong Gulch wins just as fast as possible, um, the problem was identified immediately and the problem was rectified and typically this meant removing an underperforming player and replacing them with someone else and it's never hard to hard to find someone else just because things are so competitive each individual um, has a very specific task task and constant communication is very very vital all of these things are very very important now if you're a good player these things likely won't be that big of an issue for it or for you or that big of a problem for you uh, but I'd really like to say that grinding rank 14 is really a test of pure endurance. Playing at a high level for a few hours isn't that difficult for a good player, but playing at a high level and just farming honor all day, all week, back to back, month after month, for 12 hours a day, 7 days a week, for maybe even 3 months straight if you're going to rank 14, it definitely starts to take its toll. It really is a test of endurance. Now, luckily, I guess, rank 14 isn't technically a hardcore requisite for anything in Classic WoW at all, and you can play the game at a very high level without ever achieving rank 14, but for those of you that want to put in the effort to make the grind, the rewards, the rank 14 weapons are definitely there waiting for you, and they, they, they do play a big factor in your success. So that's, that's all I want to say about grinding rank 14. It's a huge ordeal. Um, do a lot of research before stepping into it. Thanks for watching, everyone, and as always, stay safe.